Hello engineer, welcome again to this channel Smart Cable Discovery Science. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can interface a uh, LCD with Arduino. I'll show step by step on how you can connect or you can make a connection Arduino with your LCD. I'm going to use a LCD record class display 16 by 2 as you see in this uh, application that is Proteus Profession. Uh, so first of all you, you need to know there are two means of interfacing uh, Arduino with this liquid crystal display. The first one is, uh, is a serial communication and the another is parallel communication. So I'm going to show you all of these, how you can program and how you can make yeah, you can make it very simple and it is very easy. So if you're first time to see our channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share for your support. Join us into our Telegram channel. Uh, on this, you'll see a lot of projects I have, I have already posted. So let's get started with this. Uh, our aim is to see how you can make a connection with Arduino and the Liquid Crystal Display. So before starting, you need to see this program will not learn because this Arduino it needs a program. So how? So let's see if they if they learn. So let's try to simulate. Yeah, they don't get any result from this. And you get this error, fatal simulation error encountered. So you need to add some program, and it I means you need to add a program file on this, and then you will see it out. So before the, before this, you need to see your program and make connection with uh, Liquid Presto display. So let's start on program. I use this Arduino IDE. This found on uh, Google, so you can search and you can download in your computer. So let's start with a uh, library file. So my library file is. So for I'm starting with a parallel connection. So I see. To be connected to the pin into the Arduino. So I use only five pin from Arduino to liquid crystal display. So I can choose any number from this Arduino. So I can start with I can light 12, 11, then whatever. Whatever you choose. It will be better. So make sure it's only five, five pins that be connected to this liquid uh, crystal display. So this is parallel connection. So I see. So my programs is so I can light twelve, can light eleven, five, four, three, and two. So as you see, it's. Uh, it's just a six. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Only six pins will be connected to the arena. LSD dot print. So it's not necessary. So I can light on this part. I need my program to land sounds. So I can light LSD dot set casa and set casa set casa zero zero as the print i need to print a uh, words into a uh, liquid crystal display i can like hello 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 friends hello engineer whatever hello engineer it's like hello engineer yes and then close so let's see how I I can connect this and the, my display show this message. So consider you make for this first let's start on this this is first two three four five and six. So I can connect RX as you see I see on my Let's make sure you understand this 12 must be is, must be rx so the first number from 
this part will be rx and 11 will be this e and now 5 4 3 and 2 will be connected to this pin so i can like 4 5 6 and 7 make sure you connect exactly so i can start with this d7 at the end of our display you can see so this will end to arena pins number two and then three so the five the six on the record castle display, display and then i can put it into pin three and then five to four and four to five also enable is 11 it will be 11 and this and this rx is will be on 12 so make sure you understand it this part on any program of record class display that needs a parallel connection so make sure you understand this so if you make a long on connection there is the will not show nothing you can see also you can see uh, test it and see how the beam so uh, after that let's uh, for people doing a little practical so make sure you understand this is anode and this is castle so this anode is positive and this anode is negative so for the black light for for any, when I need a, a display show a light, so you need to connect with this pin. So if you don't connect this, your display will not turn on the LEDs that found on this display. So we can connect with this power, it's ground so I connect ground up to this. Uh, for protecting the doubt the LED from this you can connect the power with the uh, resistor can connect this resistor and then make sure it's small valve you can use to also you can connect to power so click on power and then connect so let's go back and this part so you need to connect the ground to LW and then to <coughs> VSS this is also a ground so connect this list and then VDD is just a uh, when you need this uh, to increase the blindness of the web you can use uh, this port so this is variable resistor connect on this part and then make connection with the VDD yeah also when you connect power and it is ground also on VEE it's just like a VCC on uh, liquid crystal display so we need to connect with the power so I can connect with the power let's put it over there and then connect the yes to this part <coughs> so this is a well connection for LCD in parallel if you need to make a parallel interface for your liquid request on display so the things you need is to add the program file on this part on arduino or you need to upload if you do the real practical you can upload your program so for me because i use the software so i see and when so i can verify and then click save after that after this program is done compiling so i need to type a x file Yes, after done compiling, so 
right take a hex file so this hex file is up here I'll do the ink so I need to click ctrl c to copy this and then go back into Arduino and then double click and then click paste on a program file and then click ok now you can learn your program so you see on display hello engineer so this is a beta connection so how what happened when i connect long i i, I make a long connection from this liquid crystal display so let's see when i make for example i disconnect this and connect to the the three and then this cuts and then i see how if it work so you don't see anything just because you are in a long connection so this is a part for the parallel connection so make sure you connect like that like this uh, and if you change a pin number from this part for example I change this this two up to a, a zero from the Arduino so let's click verify and so we are change this pin d7 and the output for this uh, data will be transferred through this uh, analog pin 0 a uh, 0 from the arduino so we see so we need to do the same thing click and click on c and then go back delete this and then create paste for another and then run so when you run you don't see the result because the data is trans transferred through a zero so you need to change this so you need to make a connection with d7 and then delete and now you'll see hello engineer so this is the better and best connection for LCD. For those who, for those people who do in practical form or or in a software, so you can use this connection for better use. So now I see how you can connect in a serial communication. So if you have a serial communication, you are display you are display or you could request display is a serial so i see how you can connect it so first you need to change i mean your display is i2c everyone i think they know i2c or serial communication so you need to change the slider from a uh, Arduino, so it will be B I to C. So we see it's changed. Also, on this will be I to C. Also, it's changed because we connect on. We we need to transfer that in a. Uh, in a serial, in a serial, so we need to change also on this part, so I can delete. No, I can delete this number. This I can light uh, zero times times seven. My display is sixteen by two. Yes, so I can. Verify after being verified, you will see a compiling done. So, compiling is done. So, now go back to this and then highlight. Now, do dot hex file. So, after this, and then click Ctrl C on your keyboard to copy and then go into a uh, this so I can do 
and then I can paste this part. So I need to disconnect this and the, to, to make this uh, liquid crystal display to be in serial form. So let, let disconnect all the terminals or all components. So I need to add an IC for serial. This I see is this number P S F eight five seven seventy four. So click you see and then put to this part. So we see P seven P zero up to P seven. So you have S C L and, and S B A. So you are Arduino will see a4 and and a5 is a4 is sba and a5 is scl so you need to connect this scl to a5 and sba to sba where we know bounce on a a4 so now you need to connect to this P7 will be D7 P6 so for the serial it's already connected so you can place this I see and then this is enable Also for the serial itself, a variable for varying the brightness of the weight, increase the brightness of the weight. So this is bounding. So you don't need to connect this because on this I see is your own is is found all of this. So when you buy on this, you will see. Variable. So this will be done, and then this will stand for. Uh, also, this is already connected. Also, this is already connected. You can add with the resistor. But this is already found, so it's not necessary for you to buy a resistor. Right. So now I can learn the program. So click on this line. Yes, you see, hello engineer. So this is for Celio communication so for i to see so i use as you say uh thanks for this tutorial and if you have any suggestion or any comment you can leave voice you can leave in the comment section and if you like this video don't forget to like and share to your friends to get the knowledge about how to connect uh, this Arduino with a uh, liquid crystal display. So thanks for today and uh, welcome for the another. This is